Yes, the spars have a job to do too. Perhaps our jobs are not, for the moment, so exciting as sending a depth charge over a cutter side or seeing a telltale oil slick rise from a blasted sub, but they are vital jobs which must be done. Vital jobs done by women so that men may fight. Now, a man can go to sea. You take over his job with the same rating, the same pay, the same privileges, and the same responsibilities. But then they couldn't resist putting in this idiotic segment. You won't get to be an admiral, but you may be the admiral's secretary. Just for the record, these days the Navy and the Coast Guard have a total of 55 women admirals. Most people believe that World War II had a great impact on the role of women in work, but that may not have been the case. We went to Washington to talk to Liz Maurer. Liz is at the National Women's History Museum. Government very actively encouraged women to participate. Now, the primary way that they wanted women to participate was really through activities like volunteerism. And then, in addition to volunteerism, they, re they wanted to recruit women to go into the workplace. They also wanted to recruit women to go into the military. So there's a lot of different ways that women can make contributions. Right? But these women during World War II were still living in a culture that had very definite expectations about what the roles of men and women should be. So for you know, 150 years prior, the notion had taken hold that the American family should be made of a breadwinner husband and a homemaker mom. Women have joined the men in the production line, and the percentage of women in industry is expected to be much higher very soon.